Hello friends, some of you have been asking me if there's any way you can make your own condensed milk and the answer is yes you can and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. This sweetened condensed milk turns out exactly like the stuff you get from the store. If you ever need condensed milk but you just don't want to run to the store to get some, you might want to keep watching because it's really easy to make yourself. Here's how you do it. Okay, so we're going to start off with a thick bottom saucepan like this one. I like to use one with a wide bottom because that way it'll take a little less time for our condensed milk to cook. Now to this, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of milk. I'm using 2% milk, but you can use pretty much any type, even nut milk if you're vegan. Then I'm gonna add in some sugar, two thirds of a cup. Now I'm gonna turn the stove on to medium high and just let this heat up gently. So let this come to a boil and stir it constantly. You want to get all the sugar nice and dissolved, but when it starts boiling, I'm going to stop stirring it. So when it looks like this, we can stop stirring. This is so that no sugar crystals will form. Now you'll want to reduce your heat just a little bit. I brought mine down to medium, but if you're using a smaller pan, you might want to go even lower. So you can see here that it's really starting to get thick. This is what it looks like after 20 minutes and it's even starting to turn a little bit yellow. I'm gonna give this another 15 or 20 minutes or so and then it should be ready. So right now I'm just gonna scrape the sides of the pan. You'll notice that the thicker this gets, the more fat will build up against the side. So just give it a scrape. And remember guys, if you wanna print off this recipe, you can just click the link underneath this video and get it on my blog. And you know how much I love sharing my artwork with you, so why not go check out my food paintings while you're there? Oh, yum! So this is getting closer and closer to being finished, and this is a total of 30 minutes now. When the spoon leaves a good gap on the bottom of the pan like this, that's when you'll know it's ready, so you can take it off the heat. Okay, so I'll just bring this over here, so you can get a closer look. This looks just right. The wider the pan you use for this, the less time it'll take to cook. It will thicken more as it cools, so you wanna take that into account when you're cooking it. If your condensed milk seems a little too thick because you cooked it too long, just add in a few drops of water and stir it vigorously and it'll loosen up no problem. And now I'm gonna just add in a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, now after it's cooled, you can take it and just pour it into a mason jar with a tight fitting lid and it'll keep in your fridge for several weeks. You can use this sweetened condensed milk for your cake recipes, your candies, use it to sweeten your coffee, or it's even good spread on toast. My favorite thing to do with it these days is make this homemade no-churn two ingredient ice cream. I've tried a lot of recipes for ice cream and this one is the best. And that's it guys, that's how you make your very own sweetened condensed milk. Hey, if you like this video, why not subscribe? It's free! And for more cooking and painting fun, why not follow me on Facebook and Instagram? Thanks so much for watching guys!